There is a reason why you are not productive while you are coding. I'm Alex from developer.com and if you do want to learn how I am coding with the help of the 60, 30, 10 coding rules, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell and let's dive in. 60, 30 and 10. This is the rule of coding that I use each and every day. Whenever I get a new project, this is what I use, the 60, 30, 10 rule of coding. So if you do want to know what this is and you want to learn Swift UI, Swift in general, go ahead and check out my mentoring because you can go to rebeloper.com slash mentoring and meet me on a 60 minute Zoom call, one-on-one -on -one private Zoom meeting if you have any bugs in your code or you would just want to chat about Swift UI or learn Swift UI, go ahead and check it out. It's at rebeloper.com slash mentoring. Now here's a question. What is your most important asset as a developer, of course? What is the most important thing that you own, what you can offer? Is it problem solving? Maybe, maybe the, you know, every programmer has to be a great problem solver. That's what we do on a daily basis. There's an issue and then we create code to solve those problems. Is it multiple languages? Like, uh, do you need to learn PHP, uh, JavaScript, Swift, uh, and so forth, Objective-C, all of these languages? Is that your biggest and or rather most important asset? Or is it that you are specializing at a specific framework, be it UIKit, Swift UI, AV Foundation, maybe ARKit, or is that most important asset that you are a fast learner? So you just go in there, learn really, really quick, adapt uh, and fix those problems. Or I could just ask, is it social, social skills? So uh, let's say you are uh, hired by a great team and you don't know how to communicate your ideas. That's kind of a bad thing, right? So social skills, for the developer is really, really important. But still, I argue that this isn't the most important asset that you own. And that is time. Your most important asset is your time. Of course, this uh, also uh, goes for as a person, not just a developer, but for a developer, that's even more important to know. Time is your most important asset. Now. When you are thinking about a programmer or when you are thinking what should we do, what are we are doing, then you just think about typing code, right? So you just type out code. That's what it actually is. You just write the program, the program runs and some beautiful things happen. But actually, and uh, you will see at the end, I would argue that typing is just 10% of the whole time that you need to spend on a project. Remember that, only 10%. So what's the other part? Well, what do you do when you are finished with 90% of your project? Now, this is, of course, a tricky question again with these percentages, but what do you do if you finished 90% of your project? Well, you work on the remaining 90%. So this is kind of a joke, of course, uh, but there's still that 90% because when you think that you have done the 90% of your work, there still comes the elaborate and really, really tedious part of fixing. So again, it will be really, really a long time period for the second 90%. And this is basically the 30 in the 60, 30, 10 rule, fixing uh, your code, uh, manipulating after you have uh, typed out your code or even during that time you are typing that out. Uh, you must preserve 30% of your time on fixing. Now, what does fixing work? Well, you just go with UI tweaks. That's usually at the end of your project. Well, it's supposed to be. Uh, well, it actually depends on your client. Bug fixes, of course, logic fixes, database fixes, and my most favorite is refactory. Because, okay, you just type, 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 but if you take a look at it in a week or two weeks time, then you can have a clear picture of what you have typed and refactor. Do refactor your code 
as much as it needs to be. And this is that 30% inside that fixing. Now, fixing requires practice, a lot of it. And that is why I'm eager to help you on learning how you can practice this on a free Zoom mentoring session. Now, how can you join this uh, kind of draw for the free mentoring session? Well, all you have to do is like this video, comment on it, and on my next one, of course, go ahead and subscribe, why not? That's, that's obvious. But on the next one, I will pick a winner from uh, these uh, videos actions. And today we are going to pick a winner from the previous one. And let's just go right over here. It was this one. Let me just uh, copy out the link from here and just go and select our winner. Let's fetch that, continue, and uh, let's pick a winner. Drum roll, please. And there we go. We have, thanks for the lesson, Alex. Now, make sure if uh, that you are going to contact me with this email that you have cr uh, created this comment at support at rebelloper.com. Again, it's at support at rebelloper.com with your email that you had made this uh, comment. Okay, let's go back and continue with our 60, 30, 10 rules of, rule of coding because there's still that 60. What does that 60 mean? Well, uh, what should we do uh, most of our time, this is our question, what is the best activity with the most ROI, return on investment? Well, it's actually planning and believe me, I do this a lot. Now, 60% of your time should go to planning. If you would just uh, mount a camera in my office, you would see me just walk around, think about it, just Google around, all of that stuff. I'm not typing out code. I'm planning on how to create this project. That's 60% of your time planning. Now, use your time development wisely because otherwise you would just have a lot of issues. If you don't plan, of course, you will not have the necessary knowledge or preparedness for typing that code out. Therefore, bugs will be a lot more and then you will have to have a lot of refactoring. So yeah, do take in mind 60, 30 and 10. Now, if you do want to learn more about how you can actually implement in-app purchases with one single line of code, go ahead and check out Storkit Pro right over here.